Gary, help your boy real quick. Help your boy, Gary. <laughs> Okay. You want to stay up there? You want to reestablish the powers? At the end. At the end. <laughs> to my dearest husband, today is the day that we finally become one. The day that we have both been waiting for. Words cannot describe how excited I am to be by your side forever. I love you more than you will ever know. You are my best friend, my true love, my rock, and so much more. You are the greatest father to Brielle and our future children. Here's to us, past, present, and future. I will love you forever. Kayla. These two have decided to make a beautiful, sacred commitment to one another. As if having a baby together, a house, and bills were not enough. They also wanted to add another thing to bond them together forever. <laughs> this way, Dad. <laughs> you look gorgeous. Thanks, Dad. Kayla. Continue to be Joseph's rock. He's amazed how much you truly love him, even though he's short. <laughs> Watching you be a mother is one of his greatest joys in life. And I'm not quite sure if he finds it comical or terrifying when you laugh, because he believes you're possessed. <laughs> Joseph, keep being thoughtful, caring, and loving. Kayla says she loves how you wear your heart in your sleeve and how you're always there for her. She also loves when she bakes and you like to add a little extra chocolate chips in the uh, baking. Joseph, do you take Kayla to be your wife, to honor her, to love her, to be there for the good times and the bad, for as long as you both shall live? I do. I do. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Right by your side. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Kratz. I've been friends with Joe for seven years. In this short time, which feels like a lifetime, we've been through a lot. I've defended him when he's gotten into trouble, and for those of you that know Joe, that's a lot. And I've also gotten him into trouble a lot more. We traveled around the country, Ford and snow higher than him. Some would say that's not a lot of snow due to your shortcomings, but it was. We slid off a mountain, got stuck for hours on end in the middle of nowhere, trying to determine who we were gonna eat first amongst our friends. After 911 said all they can do is send a helicopter when the blizzard passed. I've seen Joe through his progression from fat to skinny, back to fat to built, back to fat where he is today. And after Kayla said yes, despite me telling her to run, Joe knew he found an amazing person to share his life with and just let himself go, as you can see. Joe exemplifies what a true friend is. He's caring, protective, and loyal. Joe is sometimes funny, and at times gets angry for no apparent reason. I don't know if that's because he's the shortest person in the room, or there's something that helped him grow his muscles so rapidly that makes him mad. Or maybe it's just me. Despite his shortcomings, I have no doubt he'll be an excellent provider to Kayla and an amazing father to Brielle and the many other children to come. Just next time, hopefully Kayla won't get pregnant while we're on the guy's trip. Raise a glass and let's have a toast. The Kayla never interfere with the annual boys trip. Love you guys. <laughs> <laughs>